Hey my friends, it's uh, Stewie, Fee Stewie's Retro Gaming here uh, So I just want to throw out another Amiga selection that I've just happened to get my greasy wee hands back on uh, recently that I really I deem very very close to my heart this one uh, This is a, a, kind of a big favourite from back in the day um, from one of my all time favourite developers uh, Team17 uh, who, I mean it goes without saying, the games that they've released have been tremendous. I mean, you get games like um, Worms and Super Frog and uh, the, the Team Seventeen, the arcade pool. I mean, there was there was tons and tons of games um, that I played on the Amiga that were all down to this one development team, which I absolutely adore. So I just want to share this one with you um, because it really means a lot to me, uh, and that is the mighty Alien Breed. And I've got the wee special edition ninety two version here that I'm going to be showing you today. Absolutely tremendous game. I love it. It's like a, it's a top-down shooter. Um, obviously in the kind of aliens vein. Um, you basically get your different kind of missions you need to do throughout. Um, mainly, so your yeah, main objective is just to do the whatever is there. As the objective can be like destroying kind of orbs or um, killing certain aliens or whatever, whatever it needs to be done, and then you just vacate and go down to the next level. I think there's about twelve, twelve levels. I think twelve levels. Uh, buried aliens. Uh, what else does it say? Simulate and you also oh yeah, and you get the two player of this one as well, which is fantastic. I love the love the two player of this one. So yeah, quite excited to show you this one. So you got the old two discs ready to go. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm going to turn this camera around and get this party started. Fantastic. Ah, even this music just absolutely just fills me with joy. <laughs> it reminds me so much of, uh, of uh, playing this in the 90s when I, mean, I was playing hooky at school and stuff. It's just, oh man, what a game. So let's get this started. So uh, you can obviously pick between one player and two player there, but so we'll just go for the one player. There you go, you have just to, your objective there is just to locate the lift that leads to the power subsystem and go down to the next level. Seems straightforward enough. You need to be kind of quite strategic though because you need to collect keys to go through doors and you need to make sure you don't use too many keys. So it is, it's a, you do need to think a wee bit and make sure you know using up all your, your stuff. So let's go. So as you can see there it's just a top down shooter. Left click shoots. There we go. You basically just try to collect as much stuff. Even that ship looks awesome. I absolutely love this. Very Star trek in the sound effect there, but we won't say anything about that. That's your your main computer there. Welcome to Intech Systems. So it gives you all your weaponry you can, you can buy once you've got some credits. Obviously I've not got any at the moment because I've just started. You get all these different tools, you get ammo kits and keys and lives and all kinds of things. The game will just ignore that in a minute. Get a nice wee radar there flashing away telling me where I am. And if you're, you ever forget or you just click through and you say, oh, what's my mission objective? It's in here as well, which is handy. So yeah, it gives you your stats, all your points, your amount of bullets you've used and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, every now and again it's quite handy to jump onto one of those sweet computers when you see them. We'll just head through here. I'll go up to this first bay. Collect a couple of keys. Get some cash. Don't bother getting that. Yeah, again, I don't really like to waste too many keys if I can avoid it. There's a key there, so I can see what I mean. I've not even got enough keys to get through those doors already. 
you can see up there at the top, it tells you your ammo on the top screen there and the, your right hand side shows you the amount of keys, you know, your lives. So it's, it's, it keeps you, keeps you right. I think you can actually, can I, can I shoot these doors open? I never remember. I'm going to go and find some more keys before I can get through to that bay. So already I've messed up, so that's a good start. <laughs> I'll go through here, see if we can go through it. These do respawn, so try and sparingly shoot these guys. So that's where I want to end up, is actually at that lift there. Once I'm complete, so let's run away for those guys. See if we can get some more keys. A lot of the time you can kind of bypass the aliens if you're fly enough. Let's get in here. Right. Some good stuff here. Some ammo, some coins. Yeah, got some stuff there. So I've got two keys now. So that should do the trick. Right. I literally just want to get to that lift. It's been a wee while since I've played this one. Hopefully, I can figure it out. Just trying to remember, it's one of these. One of these areas here is definitely the one that goes up and then to the next level. I think we'll do that one. So, yeah, so I've got my key back. I'm going to get two keys. She's nowhere near enough. Alright, so I think it might be up there. This is the thing, you need to keep on running about to try and find more and more keys. That's really, really cool though. It's even better than two player, if I'm being honest. Yeah, a lot more fun. Best here. That's, that's a good few keys I've got there, so that's not bad. Right, so let's go. So definitely know that one. So it must be this one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh memory didn't let me do after all. Yeah, I don't know why I'd want to go in there to get that key. It seems just to make sense. You need to use a key to get a key. Ah, oh, I'm gonna do it to open that door. I love the voiceovers as well. I think that was one of the first times I'd ever heard. A game where the voiceovers that clear. Oh dearie dear. Oh I'm getting murdered. Way. Oh I am not playing at my best here at all today, but we are out and down. Right, so what are we doing next? So I need to find four tower domes and destroy them before I can get to the left the next time. This sounds even harder than the last one. And the good old codes there, keep you right so you can restart them at this level. That's always a handy thing to note down in your wee jotter. I do, I do, 
I do have fond memories of doing that. Uh, back in the day as well. I love these aliens because I'm convinced they say Jonathan. <laughs> it's like Jonathan. I don't know who this Jonathan guy is, but they really don't like him. And then my first dome destroyed. I don't remember I can destroy them or not, I don't think I can. Player one is getting his butt kicked right now. Ah, there we go. We've got a first aid, that'll do nicely. Got money. Money, money, money. I think I've came down the wrong way here. I don't seem to have a way out. Damn. Okay. That's not the best way to go. Well, I wasted a key there, unfortunately. Oh, there a computer. Let's use that. Let's see if I maybe got a weapon finally. Uh, how much money have I got? Welcome to Index Systems. Means I got 14,200 and something credits. So I can afford a shotgun. Oh, let's buy that bad boy. Oops, sorry, clicked the wrong button there guys. Yeah, now we're talking. A bit more bang for my buck there. Man, I am terrible at this game. I swear I used to be good at this, honest. I've played this game countless times. I mean, it's, uh, it, was, it was just one of those games that you just played over and over and over. Uh, there's a dome there, so... I kind of want to go that way. Plenty of keys there. Through there. Right, so that's dome number two. Okay, I think there's a way to get a map up. Yeah, I keep it on. I think you can actually buy. You can buy a map, I think. Goodness, these guys just keep going. Let's yeah. go through this way. It's quite a bit winding this way. Oh no, I opened that door by accident. No, a wasted key. I may as well go down and get the money now. That Jonathan guy, he's got a lot to answer for. There's a deck left, obviously, I want to get to. Yeah, so that, that must be central to the whole level then, so if that's the case. Just thinking what I'm thinking. And these domes must be in each corner of the, the map, I would think, so let's try and make my way up to over this way. Hopefully be a couple more of these big gold guys kicking about because we've got two more to destroy. Whoa. Oh, I'm doing terrible right now. I don't see this level lasting much longer if I'm being honest. 
Damn it, I think I've just went out of a nut when I look there. That's a bit silly. Oh, I keep going this way. Honestly, maybe it's like a sieve sort of. Right, come on boys, let's go. Up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get three lives left, so that's not a good, a good thing. Another key. Man, there's a lot of them out there. Clear one, it has required a lot of first aid recently. Right, let's try this one. Boom, right, so that's, that leaves me one more of those to kill. My oh, goodness, I am getting my butt kicked here. Wow, I forgot how quick they spawn. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so it's going to be down here, isn't it? It's going to be. There it is, see? I love when logic prevails. Uh oh. Destruction imminent. Okay, that's not a good sign. Let's see if I can remember where I'm going. Oh! Whoa, what? I don't remember anything I like to go in there. Right, so what we're doing here. Unfortunately, the blast from the power system melted down and spread into this level. The uh, whole station is blown up with the closures. I need to close all fire doors this time. Okay. Radar malfunction, that's always a good sign, so that means I can't get a map. So I just need to blow up all these doors. Okay. So I need to be careful, that's just money in that one, so I don't want to open that door. Because I'm not really fussed about money right now. I'm saying money is not a good thing, but... I saw a key there, yes I did. I gained the key. Layer 1, required first day. Yeah, I can kind of quite remember what uh, that means, whether I can get through there or not, so I'm not going to risk that. That looks like death to me. Oh, I'm talking about death. Right, so that's one done. Damn, open that door. I may as well get the money now. through or no, I'm just not sure, I'm not convinced that's going to, no, damn, I should never have risked it. And there you go my friends, that is how you absolutely mess up your game of Alien Breed Special Edition 92, <laughs> um, but yeah. Absolutely brilliant fun though, uh, I really do recommend playing this game, it is so good, the music's amazing, I mean just everything about it, it's just all about nostalgia with this game, it's, uh, I will be doing more um, from the studio, uh, Team 17 for sure, um, because I've got quite a few um, of memories of playing their games for this console and, I say console, for this computer rather, for the Amiga, um, so aye. Really want to share it with you. But thank you for watching anyway. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked what you see, as always, if you want to subscribe and give me a wee like, I'll be very, very appreciated. And comment away down the bottom. I'll certainly answer the comments and have a wee chat with you. If you've got any uh, nostalgia or any kind of memories that I've kicked up watching this for you guys. 
So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, take care for now. Happy gaming. We'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.